Everything went just the way we had planned it. His, uh, the testing of the suit, putting that on first. There was a classic picture of him when he reached the launch pad. He was accompanied by Dr. Bill Douglas, who was the astronaut's physician. And it was Al in a silver space suit with the, uh, with the air conditioner in his hand. I remember saying to myself, well, I'm not going to see this redstone again. And you know, pilots love to go out and kick the tires. And it was sort of like reaching out and kicking the tires on the redstone. Because I stopped and looked at it, you know, to look back and, and up uh, at this beautiful rocket. And uh, thought, well, OK, Buster, let's go and get the job done. What a sight. And what a thrill. Uh, it was, that was ex probably one of the most exciting moments of my lifetime, if not the most exciting. Almost every flight has delays. You expect them. There was a time during the countdown when uh, there was a problem with the inverter in the Redstone. And then the weather came. Turns out Al Shepard had been in that spacecraft for more than four hours. Waited and waited. Well, um, if that's the case, then I would like to get out and relieve myself. That was funny. You want to get out and urinate. But Brown says the astronaut will stay in the nose cone. You just go ahead and do it. <laughs> and of course, with a cotton undergarment and with 100% oxygen, flowing through that spacecraft. Uh, it was, I was totally dry by the time we launched. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. Launch is okay. Roger. His performance is perfect. Velocity is okay, pitch 180 degrees, altitude 365,000. Roger, 2G, Kevin holding. Freedom 7 is still go, the trajectory is A OK. You couldn't have told the difference between the flight and a simulation. Freedom 7 with astronaut Alan B. Shepard reports that the fuel system is go, 4G. Cabin 5.5 pounds per square inch, oxygen go, all systems go. Capsule separate, great command. Pilot on manual, yawing right. His control motions that he did in flight compared to what he did in the simulator, right on top of each other. Astronaut Alan B. Shepard is still talking to us, working like a test pilot reporting facts and figures, reporting procedures in the precise engineering manner of a test pilot. Hold it, baby, hold it there. Yes, a little bit of there. Roddy, boy, Roddy. All the voice reports were right on at the same time you'd expected them. Okay, retrofire completed. The Mercury spacecraft is beginning to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Report on G's occasionally. Right, he's just starting now. 50 seconds, one and a half. Going through big G now, he is still talking, saying, OK. Six. Roger. Nine. Roger. Thirteen. Drove shit. OK. Pilot OK. Very good. The uh, Shepard recovery operation was probably one of the smoothest and one of the quickest we've ever had. It just hit the water a moment ago. A cheer went up from the ship company watching here from all decks on the aircraft carrier. It was a perfect day. Perfect day for him, perfect day for us.